Hey, hey, hey! Welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before. I am Freya. This is Budgie Budgets where we are on a mission for financial security for our beautiful family. We use a zero-based budgeting um, system to get there where I budget weekly um, and we cash stuff all of our beautiful envelopes in all of our beautiful binders. It has been a week, you guys. <laughs> it has it has been a week. So um, to start off with, uh, I do apologize for the impromptu closing of my, well, not closing, but removal of physical listings from my Etsy shop. Um, they will be coming back up. Um, I just have to get myself sorted. I will apologize at the outset as well that my voice probably sounds a little bit different. And I am definitely a little bit breathless. Um, so yeah, I let's, let's start unstuffing. It's Sunday, so on Sundays we do our cash unstuffing for the previous week. We will do a budget check-in for the previous week and then we will do our budget for the upcoming week. I will probably also fill my Monday minis today. Uh, because I have some appointments tomorrow, so I'm not sure how I'm going to go just in terms of um, having time to film, really. Uh, so we need to unstuff. I have to remember where they are. Gifts, which may be in this one, maybe in the other one. No, nope, I think it's in the other one. Uh, so we went to the shops. Uh, much earlier in the week before everything went a bit sideways and both my youngest daughter and my son have been invited to birthday parties um so we got a present for each of their friends so we're taking out 40 so we may have 15 left in there unfortunately um so that's that and then uh for any of you who don't follow me on no it's not this one it's this one instagram um i did have to remove my physical listings from etsy because unfortunately on thursday i landed myself in the emergency department for the whole day um so we are unstuffing everything from medical uh which makes me feel sad but it is what it is. So there was 50 in the bank already, 60, 75. That's all coming out and that is not enough to cover what has been spent. So we are also going to unstuff my bills buffer. Uh, this was the best place I could think of to take the money out that wasn't going to impact too much else. So there's $60 in there. I will keep that tracker off to the side so I can clean it off and we can start again. Um, so that is annoying, but it was necessary. Um, so that is all of our unstuffing for this week. So we've got 50, $100 that was already in the bank, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. So 175 that we've unstuffed for the week. Um, so on, uh, I've, I've, you know, I've mentioned plenty of times before that I have uh, some complicated health issues uh, that I deal with, some chronic illnesses, um, and I do have a um, genetic disorder which affects the all of the connective tissue in my body. So like ligaments, tendons, my skin, blood vessels, everything. And on Tuesday night, I had sudden onset uh, neck pain. And uh, I saw my GP on Wednesday um, and she was a little concerned, but we decided we would watch and wait. And then on Thursday, it became apparent that the pain was getting worse and not getting better. So my GP became alarmed because of the conditions that I already have, that it may be a carotid artery dissection, um, which for those who have no knowledge of body parts or medical things, basically means that the main artery in my neck may be rupturing. Um, which is obviously not fun. Uh, so, so I had to go in. I spent the entire day in the emergency department because it was very, very busy in there. They did blood tests and they ended up doing a contrast CT. 
um, we are blessed in Australia in so far as um, that didn't cost me a cent, um, just time. And um, so the money that's come out is for my two GP appointments because I had an appointment on Wednesday, another appointment on Thursday, um, and also the parking at the hospital. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, uh, they still don't know what it is. So they have for now deemed that I am safe to be at home. Um, but I'm obviously going to have to have a, got a follow up appointment booked tomorrow because it's still not any better. Um, so yeah, that's why I unstuffed the bills buffer as well, because hopefully that can help cover some of that appointment too. Um, so we'll do our weekly check-in and you're about to see just how sideways, uh, everything went <laughs> because obviously, uh, yeah, when I'm down for the count like that, um, my, my beautiful brother-in-law came and looked after my children, picked them up from school for me. Um, and, um, but I wasn't home in time for dinner. So they ended up having takeaway for dinner. And then I hadn't eaten all day because I went into the emergency department very early. I had had like one piece of toast for breakfast and then they wouldn't let me eat, um, as they do when you're in the emergency department. Um, so then hubby and I got takeaway on the way home as well, because I was starving. Um, so yeah, our, our budget for this week has, um, hmm, it's been interesting, but anyway, Let's see, we started, we started in the negative anyway, which isn't helpful um, for groceries. We added 740 last week. We spent 572.38, which leaves us with nothing. Um, but of this money, I bought a $500 gift card. I think I mentioned in a previous video that my health insurer has done has brought out a new I don't know how new it is it's new to me I only just became aware of it um thing called life rewards and through that you can buy gift vouchers for various um retail providers and you get them discounted so I did buy a Woolworths like our regular supermarket gift card through them for 408 it cost me $480 as a $500 gift card and so that cost is in this and we still, so I'm just going to put a little star here because we still have $130 left on that gift card. But like hubby's been to the shops a few times over the past couple of days just to get like top up little bits and pieces. Um, cause the kids ended up having Friday off school because I just wasn't really up to taking them to school. Um, and of course they were all a little bit shaken. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we still technically have $130 sitting there for groceries, which will probably be fine because of the shake up in the week. We would normally do our grocery shopping today or tomorrow, um, but we won't have to because we've still got food left over. So hopefully we can push through and not really go over or not too far over anyway with that. Uh, groceries, we had nine. We budgeted 50. We spent 97 um, because of that extra takeaway stop off for hubby and I. For dinner, um, petrol, we added a hundred. Oh my goodness, there are the noisiest birds outside. Sorry if that's really, really noisy on there. They're being really loud. They must be ravens. They're making that really horrible call that they do. Uh, so petrol, I filled up. I could, I just, I don't know. I didn't stop at a hundred. I was like, do you know what? We're just gonna, um, oh my goodness. How my dog's going off. <laughs> I just decided to fill it up. So I was $12 over for petrol, uh, for groceries, we added 20 and I had to go and fill all of my scripts for all of my medications. Cause just about everything I usually take had run out. Um, so I spent, uh, 121.55. So we are over for that as well. Uh, I can't remember how much over, but I am going to add money to it. Why didn't I work that out? That was silly. Uh, so 87 over. I do have money to add to that today, but not 87, which again, like some of that buffer money I've removed, I'll put towards making up these categories uh, so that we're not quite as over. And if I need to, I will pull money from somewhere else like Mojo um, or maybe even a, I don't want to, I don't want to pull from savings challenges just because I'd rather finish them um, than pull from them early. But 
if need be that is what will happen okay so we are on to is this our last paycheck for june i think it is yeah i think it is um so it's our big paycheck week uh we finally got our monthly um child support payment so that's nice um so our total income we're working with after rent is 1740 um so we've got lots to fill out uh we've got home insurance which is 49 we've got health insurance which is 264 that's actually next month's payment so the home insurance is this month's payment Health insurance is next month's payment. Uh, ambulance, we just needed another $4 to round that off uh, for this year's payment. And then we'll start saving for next year's. Swimming is a little bit higher this month at three seventy dollars Because my older two are in that squad level swimming, they get to take part in a um, swim carnival that they're holding in a couple of weeks time, but we have to pay for it. So. Uh, that's that but they're both super keen to go they run it like a proper like professional sporting event so it's good fun they get ribbons and um yeah they have to compete in like everything so it's a big it's a big afternoon for them it's a lot of swimming uh xbox is 19 spotify gets 24 now because they've put up their prices just like everybody else apple icloud is getting five dollars netflix is getting 19. Hubby and I are just finishing up a show that we're watching on there. Um, and then we may well cancel Netflix for a little while. Uh, and YouTube gets 17. And I'm thinking I will probably pull that over into my budgie budgets um, binder at some point. Uh, so 771 in total leaves us with 969 variable expenses so we're trying to cover as much of that takeaway over spending as we can to put 29 towards that we are covering that petrol overspending with 15. we need to set aside some money for tolls because they will be due to come out soon that's 40. into our chemist category we're adding 55 that's not going to be quite enough to cover what we've overspent Dog food is getting 90. Uh, spending for hubby is just 10. Because um, I already spent all of my spending at the start of the month. Um, I was going to wait the brand of dogs that we get. It's, <laughs> they have these things called whimsies, which are like dog bones we get um, for our dogs to help keep their teeth clean. Um, then medical is getting an extra 20. I'm not cash stuffing. That's just helping to cover the additional amount that I've already spent, uh, on that. Um, so as you can see, it was just overspending everywhere. <laughs> overspending as far as the eye can see. Uh, and then my daughter wanted... $25 of her pocket money to be left digital because she wants to buy some stuff online. So that's 369, which should leave us with $600. And then we've got uh, kids' pocket money. So that's the rest of it. They want it in cash because we're going to start doing their own little binders, which I love. Then our normal cash envelopes will be getting what will they be getting 500 and you will have to tune on on wednesday to see where that's going and mini mondays is getting a little boost this week and that is getting 40 dollars instead of its usual 30. so that is our that is our $600 and that is our zero base budget for this week so this will round out june um Definitely let me know whether you are interested, whether you'd rather me keep doing it like this where you see the weekly thing or whether you would rather me do one big budget at the start of the month and then come back at the end of the month and fill out the actual columns. 
I'm just wondering if that might, yeah, it might be more interesting. Like it might be clearer what we've spent and where that way. Like I do that anyway for myself. Like I'll go through and see what we've spent for the month. It doesn't really work out in the weeks breakdown though because the weeks don't always fall within the month, if you know what I mean. So these weekly check-ins then don't necessarily add up to what we've spent in the month of June because part of this week might have been May and part of the last week will flow into July. I hope that makes sense. Um, so I'm fine to keep doing like this if you guys feel like it's... Um, good to watch and, and helpful to watch and helpful to see. Um, but if you think it would be more helpful if I just do it as a monthly thing, uh, let me know. Let me know. Um, if I do it that way, I will probably then unstuff cash as part of my cash stuffing video, I think. I think that will be like the easiest way to do it. Um, but yeah, let me know. Leave a comment for me and let me know what you think would be uh, the most helpful for you, uh, if it is helpful for you, or the most entertaining, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever you like. Um, just let me know. So, uh, we have to do our round it up challenge and we've got a fair bit in there because we've done a fair bit of spending. So we've got $5.81. I will, um, I will speed this forward for you because otherwise it's going to go for a while because we're down to these smaller amounts now. So see you in a second. Okay. So we are definitely getting there. There's $75 in that account now, which means we are getting very, very close to finishing that one, which is exciting. I'm looking forward to that being done so I can roll that over into our um, into our mojo category. That'd be really nice. Um, so I think that's all for today, guys. I am sorry that I probably sound really, really flat. I am sure I'll be back to my normal self very, very soon. Um, if you would like to, please leave a comment. If you can like the video, that would be amazing. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed recently. I've had another little jump in subscribers, which is amazing. Um, and yeah, come, come back tomorrow for mini Mondays and we will have a bit of fun with our mini challenges. I think definitely that other sinking funds one that I wasn't sure where I was going to put it will definitely be going to medical. Um, so yeah, anyway, I will see you for mini Mondays. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Bye-bye.